ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Pharrell Williams. Hello, everybody. Hey, Pharrell, nice meeting you. My name is Aida. I've been a huge fan of yours since day one, since the Rob Shaker days. Wow. Like back in the days. Thank you. I followed all your music. Thank I you. know all your, you, you like collaborate with all the A-Shamers. And uh, now my question is, you started out like with Teddy Riley. Can you tell us more about the collaboration, how it started? Uh, Teddy signed us when we were in high school. <laughs> and, um, you know, for most of my career when I would be asked, you know, why do you think you're here? Why do you think you're doing what you're doing? And I just say, I don't know, you know, it's just really random. But when I look back, I realize that none of it was really random, you know. He moved his studio from, his studio workspace from New York, not to LA or Chicago or to Miami or Atlanta or even DC, which is very close to Virginia Beach, Virginia. But he actually moved his studio um, in the same city that we lived in and literally a five minute walk adjacent to our high school. So I realized that none of it was random because he didn't move there five years before I was in high school or five years after he moved there while we were there. And um, I can't say that his, his moving to Virginia was on purpose for me. I can just say that I know that none of it was a mistake, accident, or coincidence. Um, and our working relationship uh, we spent a lot of time waiting on um, being released as a, as, as a group, but that never happened. But what it did do is, in the meantime, there was a lot of production work. And I think being in that world just sort of trained us to be kind of like workhorses because that was the way we passed the time, was to make music and make tracks for other people, which was fun. But when you're young and you think it's all going to be about you and you think you're going to be some, like, rap star one day, which never happened. Um, and I look back over my shoulders and I realize how much I appreciated him then, but I appreciate him even more now because all of his critiques and all of the strenuous, you know, not going to sleep until eight in the morning, <coughs> excuse me, um, I realized that it was all, on, all, all for this moment right here. And uh, if anything, I thank him for being one of the first co-conspirators to get us to this place because there was a conspiracy. There's so many great people who conspired to get us to this place that we're at now. I mean, the idea that I'm sitting here doing an interview with seemingly 600 microphones, <laughs> um, cameras and GoPros and, you know, 20 to 30 odd cameras back there. I'm like, you know, who's this all for? And I'm still pinching myself because remember, I was always the guy standing next to the guy. And so if anything, I'm grateful to be here and answer your question and to revert it right back to Teddy. He was the first one that saw something in us that we didn't understand at the time. Hello, Pharrell. Hello. Hello. Hi. My first question is, you were selected for the Cannes movies for your production of the movie Dope. Do you think that you're gonna get involved in the movie and the film industry, or is gonna it just in like it's uh, the first and last experience? This is my first question. My second question is a little bit funny. With the success success of the Afro and the Dizek like uh, band, do you think with uh, Jimmy Fallon, do you think you're gonna like sign with him for? Uh, it's gonna be official. Um, answer to your first, first question. question. Uh, um. It, uh, that was our first time producing a film um, with Dope, um, but I've, invo I've been involved with other film projects, more on the musical side. And here, uh, this was a new venture um, for us, but I think it's one of many to come, based on like our experience and how much fun we had, and you know how much of a blessing it is to be able to have creative input on a, a, you know a major motion film is is uh, prestigious to some people. To us, we just feel like it's one of the greatest opportunities because it's yet another way for us to express ourselves creatively. So yes, I think it will be uh, one of many to come. Um, and to your other question, Jimmy Fallon is hilarious. And um, you know, I feel like doing that skit and doing more of those just allows me to just 
you know, continue to like uh, express myself. So if anything, um, I feel like I Am Mother is, we're, we're a creative collective, but we're also people who are just blessed, you know, because we recognize <laughs> when these opportunities come to us, you know, we know how hard it is. And so I feel like, you know, one of the major practices in our ethos is appreciation. And yeah, you'll see some more of that. You'll, you'll see some more of that with, with Jimmy. Thank you. So I'm, I think I'm always going to consider their kids because I feel like I'm still one of them. Thank you. Thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Let's go.